Hi, this is Darren here from Property Prosperity. I'm just waiting for my next meeting, so I thought I'd have a bit of a chat to you about um, what exactly a house and land package is. I get people asking me that all the time. Everyone uses the term all the time, and um, but I suppose a lot of people don't actually understand what it all means. So really, a house and land package is a way for, if from the perspective of a developer like me, if I'm, if I'm buying an old house and knocking it down and subdividing and you know, selling off two blocks of land, and you know, rather than me having to build the houses, I'd rather just sell the land. But I know that by selling you a block of land, you're not really sure what you can do with it and what the plans are going to fit on there and you know, shopping around between the builders and what's included and what's not included and all that sort of stuff. So I know it makes it all a little bit hard and sometimes people just decide not to go ahead at all. So hey Debbie, thanks for joining. And so what I do um, to try and make it a bit easier for people, then I actually um, get some plans drawn up and I have it costed up by a builder. And then that gives you an option then of having an idea of what's going to fit within council requirements, you know, what's it actually going to cost to build, you know, whether it's going to suit what you're looking for really. Um, and then you can actually go out to a display home and look at the doorknobs and the taps and just get a, try and get a really good feel of what it's going to feel like. Because from the perspective of a property developer, you know, I know that if I build the house and um, sell it to you as a built house, you know, I might even get some more money. But the hassle for me is I've got to, you know, if I'm subdividing to two or three or four or five or ten or whatever it is, you know, I need a lot of cash to be able to build that many houses. So for me, I'd rather just subdivide the land, sell you the block of land, then you can go off and, and build whichever builder you choose for it, basically. Quite often, um, house and land packages show with a particular builder. Um, I think the important thing to understand, hi Justin, thanks for joining. The thing to understand when, you're, um, when you see a house and land package, you don't necessarily have to go with that builder. Um, quite often, if you ring up and you're actually talking to the builder directly and you say, hey, I see a house and land package, do I have to go with you? They're gonna say yes. Um, the issue with that though is um, they don't, um, if they say yes, um, you're not really sure whether yes is what they actually mean or whether um, they're just saying that because they, they want you to go with them. See, at the end of the day, me as a property developer, if I'm, I'm selling you a house and land package, I don't care which builder you go with. You know, I make the money on the land, I'm not making any money on the build, the builder makes the money on that. So, so I suppose what you really need to do is have a think about, or try and work out who the owner is and try and get back to the owner, and then you'll be able to buy the land from the owner if you choose to go with the builder that's created the house and land package, that's fine. If not, then um, you, know, you can shop around yourself then. It gives you a lot more flexibility, I suppose. So, um, so basically the benefit you know, of the house and land package for you is it just gives you an idea of what's going to be able to fit on the block. The benefit to the developer is they can sell you the land and then you can sign up with a build contract separate to the builder. And so um, understanding, so when you're buying a house and land package, there's two separate contracts, one for the land from the owner of the land, the developer, and one with the builder that you're going ahead with the build with. So just understand they're separate. Don't feel like you're locked in, you have to go with a particular builder. Don't feel like you're locked in, you have to go with those plans or those inclusions or that sort of stuff. You have got quite a lot of flexibility as far as that goes. So hopefully that's made sense to you guys. If you wanna, um, yeah, if it's made sense, then click on the like button. If it hasn't made sense, then Still click on the like button. If you have someone that uh, you know is thinking about buying a house and land package, um, then perhaps you might want to share this with them or share this with your friends and hopefully they'll find it useful. Um, one thing I will point out is you might have might have also heard people talk about um, a property being off the plan. That's actually different to a house and land package. So off the plan means you're buying the property um, before it's been built, but you're actually paying for it once it's been built. So that means that um, you don't actually uh, you don't um, pay for it until the end. Whereas with a house and land package, you're paying for the land up front, and then you're paying for the build as the house is being built. So you're signing two separate contracts with a property that's off the plan, you're signing one contract for the completed house at the end. So um, it is different. It's gonna be a different situation as far as your financing goes and how you're gonna finance it. It's gonna be different for the build, uh, for the developer as well, because he's not gonna get paid until the very end until the house is finished. So from a de developer's perspective, that's why you quite often see heaps of house and land packages around. I'd rather get paid for the land up front and then let you move on and uh, and build the house with somebody else because at the end of the day, that's, you know, that's not my problem. So, thanks, Justin. Thanks for the um, positive feedback. I appreciate that. And yeah, if anyone else um, has any other questions or any comments, then feel free to put it in my comments box, and I'm happy to try and help you out next time. And like I said, click on the like button or click on the share button, and I'd really appreciate it. So, thanks, guys. Look forward to talking again soon. Bye.